Welcome back to Sci TV News. I'm your host, Jake Krause, bringing you the latest in civic science news. A new education program at Rice University tackles race-based cancer health disparities. I myself went to Rice University and had the opportunity to work in Houston schools to raise awareness of environmental issues. Well, Carolyn Nickel won a Science Education Partnership Award of $1 million to increase underrepresented minority student participation in biosciences. So in the form of high school biology lessons and research internships for high school biology teachers, they are specifically targeting schools with high proportions of black students to get them involved in cancer research. Congratulations to Dr. Nickel, and I'm so excited to see what comes from this project. Here's an interesting study that just came out on RSV and if people are likely to recommend the vaccine. A study has found that people are more likely to recommend this vaccine if they've seen an FDA flowchart explaining the process of how vaccines are approved. If we can increase public understanding of the FDA review process, we can communicate about the changing nature of science and how to best align vaccine guidelines with that. Bristol University Press has published a new book Race and Sociocultural Inclusion in Science Communication. This book is part of a series, Contemporary Issues in Science Communication. If you check out the link below, you'll see a webinar with the author discussing these issues, focusing on practical solutions to get people to be more inclusive when it comes to science communication. Chapter 12, Decolonizing Science Communication in the Caribbean is open access for all to read online. The Dana Foundation is accepting applications for projects on neuroscience and society. They have up to $150,000 in funding for projects over an 18-month period. These projects are focused on education, training, and public engagement on neuroscience and society issues. Letters of engagement are due September 1st, so be sure to get yours in. The Dana Foundation is also hosting up to two civic science fellows. One will focus on basic neuroscience discovery and another focused on the intersection of neuroscience and AI. If these seem like a good fit for your organization, be sure to visit the link in the bio to apply. That's all for this week's Civic Science Newsroom. Thank you so much for tuning in and I hope to see you next time.